So I wanted to I wanted to go over just kind of the the what were the goals of version two? Like why did we build a second version? Um, and the main the main reason was a, a more sophisticated user interface. So we wanted things to be easier, right? So navigation is a lot easier, and this and the pro and it's all it's the the system itself is more intuitive. It's also mobile friendly now. So we listened to a lot of feedback we had. And one of the major feedbacks was like, it would be awesome if it was mobile friendly. So congrats, it is now mobile friendly. Also, one of the other challenges that we that that our clients had, our company clients had, was that they were getting a lot of resumes, which was great, but they were getting a lot of resumes that weren't robust. They weren't completed. And so now we're going to show you that for a remote team member to apply to a job, they actually have to fill out their full resume. So you'll get less um, resumes, but you're going to get more robust resumes, which is going to make hiring um, your remote team members much easier. We also built in custom permissions and custom notifications, and we built a state-of-the-art application tracking system. Again, how do we make it easier for you guys to go through the process on finding the right person to join your organization? Some other enhancements that we did, I'm not going to go through all of these, but we do have a new dashboard. I'll show you that. You can favorite some cards. We built in the job templates right into the platform, bulk editing and enhanced reporting and messaging. Uh, what's on the roadmap is VPN by the numbers. We understand that most people are looking for data nowadays, and uh, we are a data-driven company. So in your dashboard, you'll actually have a VPN by the numbers. What's the average hourly rate across the platform per country, per per job, things of that nature. Uh, and you also have your own company data. And how does that resp how does that look compared to the VPN by the numbers? We're going to create a, v uh, a feedback loop, which is if you have somebody that, that used to work for you, or you interviewed them, and you you know you thought very highly of them, or or not so highly, you can actually create some feedback loops. So we'll be building that. Integrations is going to be a main focus for us and uh, and then adding some messaging templates. So that's all the stuff that we're doing. With no further ado, I will uh, I'm going to show you guys the the platform now. So we're going to look at this from a company perspective. So once you build a platform, once you build a, a profile, sorry, you go to a dashboard now. So now we have a home base or an anchor, whereas with version one, we didn't even have a home base. You just got kind of dumped into like a quick, like a, a quick view, like add your, add your profile stuff. So the first thing you want to do is when you, when you create a profile is um, you want to actually want to then modify and update the profile. And you can do that right here in your profile. And so you can click on here and you can add all your pieces to the profile and you can actually preview the profile. The, the preview actually shows you what the company resume card looks like when remote team members are looking at your job and looking at your company. Just like you would like a, a filled out resume card, well, the remote team members are a little nervous that you're not a true company. So the more information you can put in here in your company uh, profile, then uh, the more trust is built. And so they when they see this, then you're more apt to get better resumes or uh, better candidates for uh, for your company. Now, if you go back in here, you'll see that you have quick views. So I can click on my jobs. I can see where my job, like where all the statuses of my jobs are. I can, uh, we also have a resources button now. So we had a lot of resources built on our, what we call the marketing page, not in the app, but they were hard to find. Well, now you have quick links. So if you need to see a demo video, you just click here. And we have a demo video, a get started video. The job description, the do, job description templates are built in. How to hire, train, and manage a remote team is a is a, a, a an academy VPM academy video that you can click on. Our vendor directory, this is underutilized. These are all the vendors, uh, all the different conferences, all the different groups that support the industry. And as you see here, we have tons of vendors here. So if you're in property management in the real estate industry, you'll see that there's there is just a great resource. We even have org charts, testimonials, and the NARPM podcast. So you have access to resources. If you need help, we have the help center, and you can actually reach out directly to your account manager. And if you need help with hiring, you can reach out to your white glove specialist. You can literally just go in here and schedule a meeting directly with them. Now, one of the things I was I was letting you guys know is we want the VAs to have a fully functional 
um, resume card. So when a when a remote team member creates a profile, you'll see here they're going to try to search for a job, and it says they cannot search for a job until they actually have a full profile to complete. The only way that they will ever have a free uh, a profile that's that's full enough is if they uh, have a video, a, a video profile. So what will happen is when you get when you get um, resume cards moving forward, only then will you get, you will only receive resume cards with a video. And so you see here now they're looking at jobs and you can see when they look at the company, you'll see this video profile show up here or this profile for the company. All right. So um, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you when you look for assistance, we added some new features in, in the, uh, in the search. So you see here, I'm going to click on Pete and now the resume card pops out to the, to the, to the right side. You can see it's a full deal. I can invite him to a job. I can mark him as a favorite and I can also um, share his resume card. So if you are working with somebody in your company or you have somebody that would be good for a friend of yours that has another company, you literally can click on the share button and send this resume card out to uh, anybody. The other main challenge, the other main differences we did was in the skill sets. If you, are, if you're, if you're a user in the past, uh, as you add skills, the logic was admin support or call center or customer service. And what that did in version one was it added more and more assistance to your search. And now it's and. So it's admin support and call center and customer service. And what this will do is this will reduce the amount of people that show up in your in your search. So you get to reduce by by the skill sets now. And the last the last piece we added was notes. So now you can actually add notes to any resume card. As you see here, we have a note section here. And what this does is this is private, a, a private note for each, but it's public within the company. So for example, I'm logged on as VPM Solutions. And if Peter worked with Pete and he had a login to VPM Solutions, we would share notes. But if Peter was with ABC, property manager company, he would not see the note. The assistant doesn't see the note either. So the notes are just public for the company side of things. So, and you can also search by who has notes. And then you can say, oh, I really, you know, this was somebody that I liked, or this was somebody that we didn't like, or these were some of the reasons why we like this person. And so if you ever have, you, you have the favorites and then you have the notes. So if you even interviewed some folks, you can always apply some notes and then you can review like, oh, who's that person? that we liked for the last job that we ended up not hiring, you can actually search by notes and of course, by, by the favorites. Now, when you post a job, the only difference we made on posting a job, we did two, two differences. The first one is you can actually now build our templates. Our templates are built right in. So let's say, for example, I'm going to hire a maintenance coordinator. You see here, our job description, you don't no longer have to copy and paste it and go find it on our website. It's literally built in. And then if you just select your default workspace or any workspace and you select the category, that's, that's the main things you have to do. Once you do that, I can save this as a draft. So that's the other new feature. So no longer do I have to actually post the job, go through the whole posting process and then go back in and pause the job. I can simply just save this as a draft. And you see here, it saves as a draft. If I go to jobs, I can actually see here, um, I think it was maintenance coordinator. Here it is right here as saved as a draft. So that's a, so the posting a job is basically everything else stayed the same uh, other than the drafting and uh, and the, the job, the job descriptions right built in to it. Um, the other, other changes we made, uh, the notification. So you see here we have the company settings, but if you go to the top right where it's your icon, and you see these settings, we actually have user specific settings. And the main thing here is the notifications. So you can, you can turn on or turn off uh, almost any notification. There are a couple that are mandatory turned on. Uh, for example, this review timesheets reminder notification, 
that is on and it's going to always email you each week. We did modify that notification per uh, some feedback we got from some of our customers that that notification now will actually have the a full amount that is going to be coming out of the bank account. So if it doesn't look right, then you can hit a call to action button and go right into the software, right into the time logs, and you can make uh, your modifications. But um, the challenge that we had in version one was that we would send you all these notifications and it became white noise because a lot of them weren't important to you. Uh, they might be important to other people, but they weren't important to you as the user. Well, now you can actually put in whichever uh, notification is important to you. And so now when you get a notification from the system, you know, oh, wow, this was something that I that I turned on that I wanted. And so you can have less notifications and, of course, more important notifications. We also did the same concept with members. So one of the big uh, differences between VPM and some of the other um, you know, software is out there, like, like Upwork and, and some of the bigger ones, is that you can actually add multiple people and that can manage your workspace or your or your um, your VPM um, account. As you invite people, you can actually add them uh, as a company manager or workspace manager. So those are two of the templates that were created in version one that we still have. If you remember in version one, a lot of these uh, the company manager and the and the workspace manager either too limited or or uh, or actually had too much uh, too much permission. So now you can actually customize. So you can use any one of these and you can actually customize it. So for example, here, right? Let's say I want to give somebody company permissions, but I really don't want them to create one-time payments. Well, now I just simply take off one-time payments, right? Or I don't want them to update time log statuses. So now we have each one of these permissions or every, every one of these permissions are customizable. So then I can say, yep, I can save this. And then I've just changed the permissions. We also added one uh, for accountants. So if you have an accountant one, so now it's just view only. So they only have access to view, but you can give them, you can add, add other permissions to them. So the permissions are, are incredibly robust now. And so you can assign different people, different levels of permissions, and you can even assign them different workspaces. Now, workspaces are just like departments. So as you as you hire more people through VPM, um, you might have different people managing different departments. So now you can have, okay, I have an admin department or I have a marketing department, maintenance department, leasing department, and you can then have different members manage those departments. So when you come to workspaces here, I can modify the members in the workspace. And I can also move jobs in and out of the workspaces. So the members here have access to whatever permissions you give them in this workspace for these jobs. So it's really customizable on how you want people um, to manage the jobs and workspaces inside the department, inside, inside your VPM instance. With jobs, you have a list of all the jobs. You can sort them by workspace. You can sort them by status, even by hourly rate. So we can look here and we just say, okay, what are all the ones that are just filled? I want to look at those. So these are all the filled jobs. Now notice we have this visibility icon. What this is, is this shows you that green is good, red is bad. Green means, in this case, Angelino here, his visibility is hidden from other companies. So... When this turns red, it means that somebody manually did something on the platform so that their profile is now um, visible to everybody out there and that now they can search jobs. So if you look here, when um, I'm just going to go ahead and set this setting real quick to show you what it looks like. When this setting is, is, set, to, is set to hidden, you'll see here that I can't search a job, okay? When somebody gets a, a job on the platform, their, their profile automatically goes hidden. So we do that on the back end. And so for them to actually search jobs, the other thing too is I'm gonna exit out of this guy and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when they actually do have a job. 
on the platform. Now you see here, um, in this case here, notice that they can only enter time log. So it's not in their face to search jobs. They would actually have to go into jobs, search jobs, and then they would actually have to unhide their, um, their button. So look, we can't protect you from them looking for jobs on other platforms or in, you know, within, uh, you know, maybe inside their city looking for a local job, but we can protect you from them, you know, looking for a job on the, on, on our platform, which means now, uh, if, if Angelino turned from green to red, and I noticed that I can then have a conversation. Why is he looking? Is he unhappy? Can we, you know, what, what's some conversation that we can have to, to extend uh, him to be happier in the, um, in the company. Once they enter time logs, then um, you can actually uh, approve, you can bulk edit time logs now. So I can bulk edit time logs and you can approve them all at once. With our system, you do not need to approve time logs. They approve automatically. So from Monday to Sunday is the, is the week on Sunday night, they can no longer enter time logs for the previous pay period, which just ended on Mondays, the dispute window. So if on Sunday night, you get that email that I was telling you about how much or how much your car is going to get charged on file, you can then go in and you can dispute. So I can go anything that's pending approval. I can go in, I can dispute or I can decline. If I do not dispute or decline on Tuesday morning, it'll get hit and uh, the, the card on file will get charged the hourly rate and have an amount of hours um, from the assistant. With one-time payments, this was, uh, people kept asking, hey man, I got a bunch of people. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to give everybody, you know, a day of, of pay during Christmas. Well, now you can simply click here, click on bulk payment, and you can give them a fixed amount or you can give them hours. What I like about the hours is notice here that these guys have, all these guys have different hourly rates. So if I give one day's of pay, I don't have to go and calculate how much I have to give, you know, Angelina for one day, Leon for one day, Alex for one day, Connor for one day. I just go ahead and I put in my hours, I confirm it, and then I confirm the payment. So very simple. The payment quick view is kind of your reporting, not kind of, it is the bulk of your reporting. We kept it the same as version one. Um, so the only, the, the major difference is, is that the statuses, um, when you are paying folks is in real time. So you see here, this is upcoming due, meaning in this case, this, this, we're, we're, we're test data here. In this case, his money, um, has not been processed, right? Once it's in processing, it tells you it's in processing. And once, it's, and once it gets processed, it goes to payments. You see here, we can see. The transfer status, this one is paid, this one's in transit, and this one is transferring. And we actually tell you what that actually means. So if you have a remote team member to say, hey, I ain't gotten, I haven't gotten my money yet, you could go in here and you could say, well, it actually showed you it was paid or it's in transit. So, you know, um, this is, it's going to take X amount of days or this is actually transferring to your bank account. And of course, you can export this uh, into a PDF or a CSV. You can also export, uh, yeah, you can also export over here. And it'll actually create an invoice for you if you if you need an invoice. You can also um, view this payment history. So this is a this is a new feature in version two where you can actually see each breakdown of each person, and you can create your own report on any which way you want. So by date, workspace, and a combination of others of all of these, and then you can custom you can export this report as well. And, uh, and so we, our reporting has been enhanced dramatically. So uh, again, you have this custom payment report, you have an invoice history report. So this is something that we'll be continuously working on and adding more reports. So as you use the system, and if you have a report that you would love to see, then simply come in here and give us feedback and add that as a, uh, as a request. And we'll be more than happy to look at it and, and build it. These are new too. We built uh, custom, we built uh, assistant reports here and uh, coming soon, you'll be able to download each of these reports into a PDF as well. One thing I didn't go, oh, oh uh, so, okay. So now let's go over the biggest change we made, which is the application tracking system. So this is kind of what we built the whole version two around. So when you have a job that's hiring, I click on the job that I'm hiring 
and it brings me to an application tracking board. So the ATS application tracking system or application system, this is new. And it looks like if you're familiar with HubSpot or Asana, it's a boarded view. And so a couple of things we did differently here. Number one is we have the white glove. So if you're overwhelmed and you need some help hiring, you can schedule a meeting with the white glove and they can help you. Second is we added these resources here. This is important because um, if you don't have a if you don't have a um, a hiring process, you can use one that we have created. Uh, we have a video here, how to use the application tracking system. And then you see here, each one of these is equal to the boarded view that you see in the application tracking system. But what's important is each one of these has a little video on what, you know, what that means when it's a new application. And then we have the resources access guide. And so you can actually click on this and we'll show you and teach you what we do uh, on VPM and what I did at Empire when I had my property management firm and how I hired. So how to use the academy during the, during the application process. Um, these, so e these are either uh, downloads, they're, um, they're either knowledge-based articles, they're videos, so they're a little bit of, of everything. Here you can download a disk test, an English test, an internet speed test, all here right at your uh, right at your fingertips. And so you don't have to go and find it on our website anymore. We actually built it into the uh, into the the application tracking system. Um, you, these cards here, they're they're the resume card, so I can look at the resume, and they're also an application card. So if I click on the person's name, it's the resume. If I click on the uh, any white space in the card is the application. So I can review the application. If I want to message somebody, I click on messages and I can send a message. Simple as enough. Right? And I just send it and I can send the message. Uh, evidently, I can't in staging, but in production, I can. Uh, again, here we have the same. So the same search criteria that's in the main search is in the application tracking system. Now notice here, these are people that I invited. Notice their card is grayed out and I cannot move their card. That's because they haven't applied. They've only been invited. So there's not much I can do with them. These folks have been, they've applied. So I can notice I can move them. I can sort them however I want. I can message them. And I can still message people that I've invited. I can't, but I can't move their card. Now, if I like if if I don't like somebody, I can simply move them over to the decline stage. Once somebody gets over to the decline stage, and we move them, we move them over to the decline stage. Um, the system will automatically send them a thank you uh, for your interest, but we went another way, so we send them kind of a denial letter. If I like somebody and I want to move them to in review. Our little video will tell you what that means. And of course, if you go into the view resources, you can see what, what are some of the action items you could take in review. And then you can schedule an interview, complete the interview. And then if you like them overall, you can move them to accepted. Now notice right here, once they, once they get accepted, you can agree to the hourly rate or you can message them to change the hourly rate. Um, you set up a start date. And then you just accept the application. At that point, the job is filled and they can enter time starting on the date that you was, was the start date. And then that's when it can start entering time logs. And so the job will go from hiring to filled. And when they fill the job, they'll see here, if, I don't know if we put any time log. Yep. Okay. So you can see all the time logs here. Um, if you want to upload any files, you can upload files. You can have company files or shared files. Company files are just on the company side. Shared files are files that you and the remote team member can share and download together. So it's kind of a repository. Um, we use this when we give like um, annual reviews or if anybody gets like a, a great email or an attaboy or an online review, you can you know print it out or, or, or upload it here. And so this way you can use it during your... Um, your review process with your remote team. The last piece here is the Academy. The Academy is, uh, was built mainly for remote team members. So every course that's built for a remote team member, they can take the course and there's an exam. 
if they pass the exam, they get a certification, which you can search by. So for example, here, like I want to see somebody with the maintenance 101 certification and I can apply and I can see if anybody's taken that certification. So these are people that, you know, have taken their time uh, on their, on their own time to take the course. They have the ability to retain information as they were able to take the course, pass an exam. It's obviously something that they're interested in because they're taking, they're taking the course on maintenance. So if you're hiring a maintenance coordinator, these are folks that you might want to look into. I'm a big fan of when you post jobs, use the cert, use the certifications because that makes people um, like at VPM, we do not um, interview anybody that doesn't have the property management 101 through, I think there are 12 courses. So you have to take all 12 courses before we'll even interview you. And what does that do for us? A couple of things, right? One, it's, it gives them knowledge, right? So they have about nine hours of content in those 12 courses. It lets me know that they're interested in the subject matter. It lets me know that they really want the job. Um, and it lets me know that they can retain information. So those are people that I want on, on board on, on my company. So what are you willing to do to get a job with your company? So use those certifications to your, um, you know, to, to, uh, to your benefit. Also, what I like here is on my team, I can see who's taking all the certifications. So if you want to use certifications as a way to give people bonuses, hey, we'll give you a bonus if you take these, you know, these courses on VPM so that they can learn more to get to the next level in your company. That's something. And then if you take have any certifica certifications, then it um, looks like there's a, there's a bug here in the staging, but it'll show you the certifications as well. Over reporting and then the referrer is the last piece here. Um, uh, so Pete, Pete, I'm going to yeah. jump in here and stop you real quick. I've, we've got a question. Someone's asking as far as the, uh, the VPM Academy, they're asking if aside from courses, do you guys plan on introducing any type of content from vendors that we work with? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and so the answer is yes. And it's already started. So on a couple of them, we actually have this insurance from Mark property management is, is a, a partner of ours called RIS solutions. We just went live last month with Property Meld. So Property Meld now, ha we have all their training on there. Due out later this month is Lead Simple. Uh, we also have pet screening in the queue. They, we have training through pet screening. And I believe, Peter, uh, I don't want to misspoke, misspeak, but we also have Rent Vine training in the queue as well, correct? Uh, Rent Vine training is definitely in the queue. And I know we're also working on some property wear training as well. Yep. So yeah, the answer is absolutely. Um, that's the, the vision is that every vendor that supports the industry will have some type of training so that when you are looking for people, you're know, like, instead of like, you know, taking them at face value that they actually have, you know, like here, like, let's say here, Mariel here. All right. Does she actually have Rently? Well, eventually there'll be a course on Rently and then she'll have a certification. So instead of searching by skills, eventually I'll be able to just to search by certificates. These are the three or four things that I'm looking for. Do they have them? Um, when I post a job, I basically tell people don't, don't apply unless you have these, you know, four certifications. So, uh, great, great question. And the last piece is the refer and earn. So as you, um, as you share your URL with people, um, if they, create a profile based on your link. You'll see them here. You'll see if they're active or not active, meaning did they hire, did they get hired if they're a, a VA? And then you'll have your earned out amounts up here, your lifetime, previous payout, and what's coming What's coming up. So it's a great way. It's an easy way to you to see what um, what's coming due your way and who's using your, your, um, your affiliate link. And I know it's a lot of information. Um, that's all I got. Pete, back to you uh, or any other questions that we have. I'm more than happy to to answer any questions about um, about anything that we got in the pipeline, about what we're trying to what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah, thank you so much, Pete. Now you've been working you and the team and the developers and everyone's been working on this very hard for over two years now, and it's here. It was two. It's gonna. It'll be two years in March. Uh, the first week of March will be two years. So we we literally there just the year deadline. Yeah. So you are right. It is a lot of information. We were trying to move through it just so that we can give you guys a, an overview. Uh, but 
Uh, our team will be reaching out to you if you're already using us. Uh, and if you're not, we'll be reaching out to you directly and seeing if you would like a more, uh, more personal um, uh, demo uh, and, uh, and kind of show you some of the, uh, the bells and whistles and the different features of the platform on a, on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, level. So, yeah. So it looks like we have a question from Melanie. Um, can we download the one-time payment reports? So um, I believe um, if we can't right now, it's it's going to be something that happens really soon. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm just going to kind of go through. Pete, I'll let you kind of still do your thing, and I'm just going to check this out on our reports tab. Yeah, so that's a great question. Uh, downloading, and, you know, this is this is uh, exactly some of the enhancements that, that we did with VPM, right? We want to make sure it's just not – it's not more than just a payment – uh, uh, platform in the sense of you may being able to help whether it's your accounting department, your HR department uh, through the different reportings. Uh, think of this as your, uh, your payroll uh, really uh, because of all the different uh, reporting that you'll be able to pull through here. Um, so yeah, it's a, uh, it's been a lot of uh, great enhancements, but like I was saying, we will have our team reach out to you and see if you'd be interested in having a, um, more one-on-one uh, -on -one discussion about the platform. If you're using it, it'll be something that we could share with you or your team on, on again, just some of the enhancements and how these, these will Im improve the experience. And if you're not using us, it'll definitely be a good opportunity for you to, uh, and for our team to look at, you know, your structure. Uh, and if you've been thinking about using an RTM, uh, a VA um, or international team member, um, then we can help you identify those those opportunities and uh, and help you find the uh, the talent for that position. So, Pete, to answer uh, Melanie, to answer your question, um, you can do it right now. It's it's uh, it's in the custom export section of the payment history report, and you can search by one time payments. So it's not uh, it's not right on the one time payment report just yet. Um, Sorry, go here. Um, it's not on the one-time payment report just yet. So if I go here, uh, can't find it. But if actually, if I go to the um, the custom payment history report, I go to custom export. I can do it right here. So, yeah, it's not it's not super intuitive. We'll we'll get that fixed. But at least you can do it uh, right now. All right. Well, again, we if there's any more questions, we'll be happy to take those. Uh, you can either raise your hand, you can use the Q&A box uh, down below. Uh, Pete, uh, Melanie says, thank you so much, and she appreciates it. So, um, yeah, we will let everyone go. Again, we can't thank you enough. We're excited for the, uh, the new features. Uh, we know it's going to be just a great experience as you and your team use it. And we'll be in touch over the next couple of days to see if we can't uh, connect with you and, uh, and give you a more, uh, more private, uh, demo and, uh, and help you identify opportunities. If again, if you're not using us, so, uh, if you're not using us, BPM solutions.com and go on there, create a free profile. And by doing so, you'll have access to everything that we just showed you. So thank you yeah, all so last, much. Have last a thing I'll say is if you have remote team members already and you're doing a direct pay and you want to move more to VPM, call Peter and we can work something out. Absolutely. Thank you Thanks, all everybody. so very much. I've uh, got some messages here. Sorry, but maybe I missed this. When, okay, it's going live. When's it going live? It went live Sunday morning. So, yeah. And then Melanie says, congratulations. So, uh, Athena, yeah, this went live uh, Sunday morning. So, if you go on there now, uh, if you're already using us, I think all you got to do is refresh, if I'm not mistaken, and that should give you access to the uh, to the new version. Um if you are not using this, again, you can create a free profile on vpmsolutions.com and that'll give you access to the new version and everything that we just showed you today. And, and the thing is too, with the VPM Academy, um, there's no there's no um, charge to create uh, an account on VPM. So even if you have people working in your, you know, for, for your property management firm, you can actually have them create either a company account or a, or a virtual assistant account, and they can actually access the, uh, the training and it's all free. All the training's free. And there is some training built directly for property managers. Not all of it is built for virtual assistants. Absolutely. I'll leave you guys with this last comment. And this is the fact that 
on our platform, you can source, you can train, you can onboard, and you can pay your remote team at no cost to you. So thank you all so much for your day. We appreciate it and uh, have a good one.